We are live from the quarantine zone, Warriors. I'm so happy to have you here today. Um, this is gonna be an awesome workout. Um, Saturdays are our strength days. Um, so we've been doing Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays as our strength days. And uh, um, if you wanna go ahead and get um, some stuff together, um, that would be great. Uh, we had a request from one of the Warriors to like let you know what you're gonna need for the workout at the beginning of the workout, just to make sure you have everything. So um, we'll need a, our, our couch um, or um, an end table to put, up our, put our foot on. Um, you might need a pillow to put your knee on that. We're gonna need a couple of light weights. So um, if you don't have a, a pair of uh, dumbbells, maybe you can use uh, bleach bottles like I was using the other week. Um, and if you have a resistance band, uh, that would be fantastic because uh, uh, we're gonna be doing some overhead squats. So we're gonna be using the resistance band with that. Story of the day, all right. So story of the day is actually a mini challenge uh, that I wanna do this weekend with, the, with our warriors that are on our secret uh, page. And actually, if you're not even on our secret group and you're just watching this, um, this workout, uh, you can just do this for yourself. And, um, um, but what it is is I, I challenge everybody to write a thank you note to yourself. Now I got this idea from Alicia, who's a coach at uh, Training for Warriors um, Huntington Beach. And um, if you're not familiar with Alicia, she is a superhero. Um, she has lived 1,014 days past a cancer diagnosis expiration date. And um, she's probably one of the most amazing human beings on this planet. Um, constantly positive, cheering people on, and uh, just surviving and um, is, is pretty amazing. Anyway, so she did this with Huntington Beach where she asked her warriors to post um, thank you notes to themselves. Now, when I first heard this, I was, I, was, I was having a little bit of a weepy day and I just started crying because I couldn't imagine writing a thank you note to myself. And I don't know if you're like me where um, I think the easiest person to beat up at any given moment is yourself. And um, I constantly have to not do that, um, to not, um, uh, to, you know, just pick on myself for things that I feel like I've, I've fallen short with. And so when I, when I realized how hard I thought that that thank you note was going to be, I realized how important it was um, that I do this. And so I thought that we could um, help each other out and do this together. So what I'll do later on today is I'll shoot a video um, about the challenge and I'll put it on the Facebook group and then I'll ask you to put your, um, your thank you notes, if you feel comfortable doing that, um, underneath that post. And um, it doesn't have to be long or it could be really long. It just depends on how you feel. But just think about like, you know, if, if, if you were somebody that gave, that gave you a really, really great gift and you were thanking them for it, um, maybe think about it that way. Anyway. We're gonna get warmed up here. Um, we're gonna get um, our, our awesome, awesome Tabata strength workout on. Uh, I'm super, super excited about this workout. If you have a, a mat or a blanket uh, on the floor for your knee, that's great, because we're gonna start with our Cossack stretch. So I am going to rock back and forward. I'm in this semi-quadruped position. I'm getting a nice flexion in my wrists as I rock backward and forward, all right? And what I'm doing is I'm bringing my butt back to my heel and my toe is up in the back on the floor, rocking back and forth. We're gonna do that about 10 times on this side. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just gonna do a leg raise. So I'm just gonna lift my leg up. I'm gonna have my glute keep my leg from raising super high. So what I don't wanna do is I don't wanna twist my hip in order to get that leg up. I'm trying to point my belly button to the ground and I'm doing a really controlled movement, lifting that leg five times on the right. And then we're gonna to go to the other side and rock back and forth. Now with this, with this Cossack stretch, don't push yourself with it, we're just getting that groin to, to warm up. We're getting those uh, wrists to warm up. Six, I think. <laughs> Seven, eight. This feels really good, guys, for me. I don't know about you. Sitting all day long at a desk working on my computer is killing my hips. Woo! All right, so we're gonna do five leg lifts. Again, that glute is gonna stop that leg 
from lifting too high. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into everybody's favorite, the pec stretch. So what I want to do is I want to lay on my belly. I'm going to put my left hand underneath my left shoulder. I'm going to extend my right arm out. I'm going to take my left leg and try to reach it over to that extended arm, all right? And I'm going to have my left arm push my body against that. And I'm going to breathe into this. Take that big breath in at the top, out through the mouth, in through the nose. So right now, guys, my mic is actually preventing me from getting my foot on the floor. <laughs> All right. We're going to switch it over to the other side. This side should be a little bit easier. So I'm taking my right hand, and I'm taking my right foot, and I'm bringing it over to my left side. Ah, there we go. <laughs> and I should feel this really nice stretch in my pec, in my upper chest, and in my shoulder, and in my hips, opening up, keeping that leg straight out underneath you, trying to touch that foot to the floor, breathing in and out. Yeah, all right. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our couch and we're going to do our couch stretch. So what I want to do is I'm going to put my foot up onto my couch or a chair or a coffee table and then I'm going to come down. I want to bring that knee to the ground. I'm going to bring this leg out. The leg that's down is the arm that's going to reach up. It's going to reach over my head and then I'm going to lean away from it. So I'm really trying to stretch this entire side of my body. And I want to breathe in and out. Breathe in through my nose and out. Breathing in and out. Guys, I really feel this in this front quad also, besides my obliques. Give me two more big breaths in and out. In and out. We're going to stand up. We're going to go to the other side. Put that foot on that elevated surface. Come down, bring that knee to the floor. Take that other arm, same arm, that leg is down, reach it over your head, and then lean it up to the opposite side, getting that really nice stretch. <sighs> Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. About five big, nice, slow breaths. Whoo! All right. So that is our mobility. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go through each one of the exercises in our Tabata as part of our warm up. So um, we are going to start um, as far as our our um, warm up is concerned with the first exercise in our Tabata, which is an overhead squat. So if you have a resistance band, go ahead and grab it. What I want to do is I want to make my arms really, really straight. I'm going to widen out my feet. I'm going to squeeze those glutes at the top. I want to lock out those knees. And then I'm going to come down into my squat. I'm going to come up and down. When I come up, I want you to really squeeze those glutes. I want you to bring that pelvis forward, all right? So as far as our warm up is concerned, we're going to do 10 of these, but when we get into the circuit, a Tabata circuit, we're going to be doing 20 seconds of work and then 10 seconds of rest. I think that's about six, seven, trying to get to at least parallel, guys, if not a little bit lower. And what I mean by that is I'm trying to get my hip crease to be at the same level as my knee, if not a little bit lower, and back up. We'll do two more. All right, and then we're gonna lay on our bellies and we're gonna do swimmers. So my, my shoelaces are pushed into the ground. I'm reaching forward with my arms. 
I'm pulling my hands to my rib cage as I'm slightly raising up my upper torso as I do this. So we got 10 swimmers. I want you to really squeeze those shoulder blades at the top, guys. Eight, nine, 10. Awesome. Now, we're gonna do our Bulgarian split squats. So, I'm gonna give you a couple different versions of the Bulgarian split squat. One is again, putting that foot up onto that couch or that elevated surface, hopping, it, hopping your foot a little bit forward to give you room to come down. I want you to come down as far as you can, come up. You're squeezing this glute at the top. All this weight is going into that front lead leg. It's not in the back leg, all right? You're getting a nice stretch with the back leg. All the power is coming from the front leg. All right, so I'm gonna have you do 10 on that side, and then we're gonna do 10 on the other. Don't forget to breathe. So, the variations that I'm gonna do with this is if I have some dumbbells that I wanna use, I'll grab those. Again, I'm gonna hop it forward. I'm gonna come down and up. I'm gonna come down and up. So give me 10 of those. If you don't have an elevated surface, you can also just do a, a regular split squat. So my back heel is up. My front foot is flat the entire time. I come down, my knee is about an inch off the ground, and I squeeze my glute at the top. All right, locking out those legs at the top. All right, so that's the substitution for the Bulgarian, is just a regular split squat. And then we have knee grabs. So if you need a mat, grab a mat. What I wanna do is I wanna bring my legs out straight, bringing my arms into my chest, throwing my arms forward, bringing my shoulders over my hips, feet are flat on the ground at the top. Give me 10 of those. Use your shins, guys. Your shins are your friends to help you up in this. Now, at the bottom, all I'm doing is getting my shoulder blades to touch the ground and coming back up so I'm not bringing my head all the way back. All right, we're doing 10 of those. Don't forget to breathe. Nine, 10. Always finish on the down. That's a completed uh, knee grab. And then we're gonna go into our plank dips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my body to be straight. So I want my ankles to line up with my knees, to line up with my hips, to line up with my shoulders. I'm gonna come up onto this forearm and then I'm gonna dip my hips down and come up. You can also raise your arm up in the air, directly over your shoulder, coming down and up. All right, we're gonna do 10 on this side. If you wanna make this a little bit harder, you can grab a dumbbell. I just want that arm on top locked out, come down and up. If this is hard for you to do with stacked feet, what you can do is take one foot in front of the other and do it that way. Ten. Let's switch it out to the other side. Coming onto this forearm. Feet are stacked. My body is in line. My head is in line. Coming down and up. Down and up. Keeping this shoulder over that elbow. Really trying hard to pull those hips up to the ceiling. 10 of these. All right, I think that's just about it. All right, and then we're gonna do glute bridges. And we're gonna do a variety of different glute bridges. When we're in the actual circuit, I want you to pick which one you like the best, all right? So for my variations on glute bridges, my first variation is 
my knees are in tight to my butt, putting my arms on the ground, my head is on the ground. And what I wanna do is just lift those hips up to the ceiling and back down. Really squeeze those glutes at the top, guys. So we're gonna do 10 of these. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. The next variation that we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our knees in, we're gonna bring our feet out, all right? We're gonna do 10 more of these. You might have a little bit more limited range of motion. Everybody's physiology is different, so everybody's gonna feel this in a slightly different place in their, in their legs, in their glutes. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Our last variation of glute bridge that we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our feet together. We're gonna let our knees just naturally fall out to the side. So my bottom, the soles of my feet are together. I'm gonna lift up and down. Lift up and down. 10 of those. All right. So in the circuit, what I'd like you to do is pick your favorite out of the three of those variations. Seven, eight, squeezy, squeezy, squeezies at the top. Nine, 10. For me, my favorite is knees together, feet apart. That's where I feel like I get the most work in my legs. But that, again, that's just me. And then we're gonna go into our Y's. So what I wanna do is I wanna come over into this hinge position where I'm pulling my butt to the back wall and I'm bending right here at my hips. And then I'm gonna bring my hands down and then my hands come up at about a 45 degree angle from my ears and back down, up and down. So I want you to feel the tension in your hamstrings. You can play with the bend in your knee to feel this tension in your hamstrings. And I also want you to feel the tension isometrically in your arms as you raise and lower them. And I want you to feel that in your shoulders. You might think that this feels really easy and you might be tempted to use some weight. You can try it, but in the Tabata, when we're doing 20 seconds of work, it's gonna be a burner. Eight, nine, and 10. All right. Then we're gonna do some inchworms. So for my inchworms, what I wanna do, is I wanna fold over, I'm gonna walk out, I'm gonna come into this high plank. From this high plank, what I can do is, I can either do a scapular retraction where I'm bringing my shoulder blades together and then up, or I can do a perfect push-up if I've been working on those, all right? And then I'm gonna walk my hands back in. Now, if you have a hard time keeping your legs straight during this, just widen out your feet, that's totally fine. But I'd what I'd like you to do is try to keep your legs as straight as possible, all right? Either scapular retraction or you're doing a push-up. Coming back in. This is two, we're just gonna do about five of these. All right, I think I have one more. Those inchworms are fun. All right, and then what I have is my calf raises. So I'm just gonna do these right from the floor. But what I wanna do is I really wanna set my tempo with this, so I wanna go slow and controlled. I'm coming up onto the balls of my feet, feeling that extension at the top, and then coming back down to the floor. Really feel that extension, feel those, those calves activate and come down. If you'd like to make this a little bit harder, you can grab your dumbbells 
and do the same thing. All right, so let's do 10 of these. Whoops, it's easy to lose your balance with it. You might wanna find a spot on the wall that you're staring at as you're doing this. During the Tabata, I don't want you to rush this. I just want you to get that full extension at the top and then back down. All right. I went slightly out of order, guys. I missed one of our warm up exercises, which is an A frame push up. So, my A frame push up, I want to widen out my feet. I'm going to come into this A frame position where my hands, my biceps are next to my ears. And then what I'm gonna do is come down, bring my head to the ground, and back up. Bring my head to the ground, and back up. So I'm not bringing my elbows out to the sides. I'm keeping my elbows coming back, facing back towards my legs as I come down and up. So give me 10 of those. Trying to keep my heels as close to the ground as possible. They will raise and lower. That is not a problem. <sighs> Whoo, that's a burner. Yeah. All right. So that's all the exercises in our circuit. So what a Tabata is, a Tabata is 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. And we do that back and forth for four minutes straight. So for our first circuit with the Tabata, what we're gonna do is the overhead squats, all right, with our resistance band, and then we're gonna go into our swimmers, where we're on the ground, feet are into the ground, and I'm reaching out and pulling my hands back to my rib cage, all right? So before we start, I'm gonna grab some water, and then we're gonna go into it, all right? I got my timer all set, and we are gonna start. And three, two, one, and we're going. And we're starting with our overhead squats. Keeping those arms straight, trying to get at least parallel, if not a little bit lower, making sure my toes are pointed out. All right, that was 20 seconds of work. Now we're transitioning into our swimmers. 10 seconds. And we're going. Pushing those shoelaces into the ground, slightly racing my torso as I'm pulling that imaginary water back towards my rib cage, squeezing those shoulder blades, guys. Squeezy squeezies. And 10 seconds of rest. Going back into my overhead squat. And we're going. Here we go. Now, with these, since it's strength day, I'd rather you go slow and controlled with it than super fast with the reps. But if you're feeling like you want to do more of a metabolic workout, just go faster. That is the beauty of the Tabata. All right, going into my swimmers. Here we go. Woo. Three seconds, guys. You got this. Yes. All right. Going back into my overhead squats. Two, one, here we go. It's a lot easier to go into those squats if you widen out those feet. Don't keep those legs narrow underneath you. You're making room for your hips to come down. And what I'm also trying to do is I'm trying not to lean forward with it. I'm trying to come straight down. Transitioning to our swimmers. All right. Two, one. Uh. Pulling.
bring that water back towards your rib cage. You got this, guys. You got this. Woo. All right. Guess what? This is our last set of each. Last set. Best set. Here we go. Again, guys, with these squats, try not to bend forward. Try to come down straight. Maybe your physiology is such that it does make you bend a little bit forward, but just try to be conscious of keeping that chest up. That's all. All right. Last set of swimmers. Belly, arms extended out, and going. Woo! Making that chest come up. So I squeeze my shoulder blades together. Woo! You got this. Ah! All right. We're going to have about 90 seconds of rest right now before we go into our next set or circuit of Tabatas. So I'm going to have you grab water to start and then I'll go ahead and demo what that next circuit is, and then we'll get into it. Yes. All right. So our next one is going to be our Bulgarian split squat, which, again, I'm at that elevated surface. I'm going to see how I feel with this, guys. I'm going to do a couple rounds without weight, and then I'm going to throw on some weight and see how I feel. Hopping that foot forward, coming down, that knee does extend over that foot, that is fine. We have realized that you can bring your knee over your foot without result of injury. That is what gets that nice flexion going on in that ankle. All right, that's the Bulgarian. You can do that with weights, or if you don't have an elevated surface, just make sure that, that you're on your back toe the entire time, that back heel does not come up as you come to the ground and really squeeze at the top, all right? And then, the next thing that we're doing in this circuit is the A-frame push-ups. So, widening out my feet, coming into this A-frame position where my um, biceps are next to my ears, dipping my head down to the ground and up, dipping my head down to the ground and up. Trying to keep those legs straight as possible. If you need to widen out your legs a little bit more to get them straight, that's fine, that's totally fine. All right, so we're gonna start our next circuit in about 10 seconds. Woo, love me some Tabatas. Yes, thank you, Dr. Tabata. All right, guys, we're starting in three, two, one, and we're going. So when we're doing our Bulgarian split squat, keep in mind, which leg you're doing it on this time, and then you're gonna do the opposite leg the next time we come back to the split squats. Woo! I love the Bulgarian split squats. All right, now we're gonna go into our A-frame push-ups. Widening out those feet, getting those legs straight, coming down and up, down and up. All right. Got about five seconds left. All right. So, try to remember which side you did last time. Do the opposite this time. All right. Coming down and up. I was saying I love the Bulgarian split squats because they make me feel so alive. I feel all the feels with these guys. <laughs> Woo! Now my tempo is slow and controlled because I'm really trying to get that strength response out of it. All right, transitioning into my A-frames. And we're going. This is lovely for those shoulders, getting us ready. 
for tank top season. All right, going to the first leg that we started with. I think it was this end. There we go. <laughs> Whoo! Guys, I'm really feeling the burn with this. I might not actually be using the weights for the next couple rounds. All right, going into our A-frame. Starting in three, two, one. Coming down, bring your head down, elbows back toward the legs. And two, one. There we go. This is your last set of each. So your best set of each. Switching out that leg. And we're going. Really make sure all that weight is in that front leg. The back leg is just there for stretch. You shouldn't be pushing off with that back leg. Woo! All right, here's our last set of A-frames. A-frame push-ups for the win. And we're going in two, one. Coming down and up. Woo! Yes. Got about five seconds left of this circuit. Woo! All right, we're two down. That was awesome. Okay, again, about 90 seconds of rest. Let's grab some water. As you're resting, I'll go ahead and demo the next circuit. So if you need a mat, grab a mat, because we're going to be doing our knee grabs and our plank dips with this. So knee grabs, legs are out straight, arms are in tight to the chest. I throw my arms forward, I grab my shins, my feet are flat at the top. My shoulders are over my hips and I come back down. Just getting those shoulder blades to touch the ground as I do this. Now my next transition is gonna be from the ground as I go into my plank dips. So for my plank dip, lining up those feet or I'm bringing those feet right next to each other. So either stacked or one in front of the other just depending on what makes it easier for you. And just make sure your whole body is straight, that your ankles are in line with your knees, your hips and your shoulders. I'm on this elbow, the shoulder is over that elbow. I'm coming down and up, lifting my hip to the ceiling, bringing my arm up if I wanna make it a little bit harder or grabbing a dumbbell in that hand if I wanna make it even a little bit harder, all right? And then the next time we do it, We'll just make sure we go to the other side. All right, so we got about 10 seconds of rest before we go back into it. You guys are killing it. Thanks for joining me on this lovely Saturday morning. It doesn't look like it's rained yet. That's shocking. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start in three, two, one with our knee grabs. And we're starting. So again, you can push yourself as fast as you want with this. Francie, I'm sure you're probably burning a hole in your carpet right now with the speed that you usually do these. And I'm ending down, and then I'm rotating over into my plank dip. All right. Everything's stacked, everything's in line, bringing my hips up and down. Pause at the top, guys. Try to make sure that your hips are completely up. All right, keeping my head in line with my body, not bringing my head forward. All right, switching back over into our knee grabs. 
Woo! Starting at the bottom, ending at the bottom. Yeah? Getting those shoulders over those hips at the top. I really like the knee grab because I like that little bit of mobility stretch that I get in my hips as I come forward. Ugh. All right, now I'm switching over to the other side for my planks. Getting all lined up, getting all stable, making sure the shoulder is over that elbow. Getting a nice squeeze at the top. Give me a little pause. Make sure you brought your hips up as high as you can. Whoo! Yeah! Everybody loves a plank dip, right, Sarah? It's your favorite. <laughs> All right, going back into our knee grabs. Here we go, guys. You got this. Eye of the tiger. Into the roar. Slay the dragon. Do all the things that we warriors do. Yes. All right. Going back over to my first side that I started with. All right. In three, two, one. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Yes. Ah. Yes. Squeezies. All right, here we go. Going back over into our last set of each. So our best set of each. Right, guys? We always want to make sure that we don't do crappy form. If you need to, while you're doing these circuits, if you get super gassed, you can always skip one of the rounds. Catch your breath. Just don't sit with it. Stand up. Put your arms in a V for victory position. Don't bend over. We're trying to get those lungs full of air so we can recover faster. All right. You can also pause this if you need to catch your breath. It's not a problem, all right? We just always want to make sure that our form never suffers. Yeah? Two, one, yay! Yay! All right. Again, about 90 seconds of rest. We're going to grab some water, and I'll demo the next one. So you keep resting. I'm going to demo this next circuit, which is our glute bridge to Y. So for my glute bridge, those three variations that I gave you were my feet were out right from my butt, trying to get it in as tight as possible. My knees are in line with my feet, bringing my hips up and down, up and down. The next variation I gave you was my knees together the whole time, my feet out, squeezing at the top. All right. The third variation I gave you were the frogs, where my soles of my feet are together, my knees just fall to the side naturally. I come up and down, up and down, all right? So it's your choice. Whichever one, I would love for you to pick the one that you feel the most challenged with um, or the one that feels the best with your physiology. It's totally your choice. And then we transition into our whys. So I'm coming over into that hinge position where I'm trying to pull my butt to that back wall. My back is flat, so I'm not curving my back. I'm not losing those lats. I'm keeping that back flat. My arms are in, my palms are in facing each other. And then I bring my arms up to my ears and back down. I'm trying to keep those arms straight, guys, and feel that tension in your hamstrings, in your arms, and in your shoulders. All right? So that's the next circuit. And we're going to go in about five seconds. We'll start with our glute bridges. I'm on the ground. I'm going to do the variation where my knees are in close. My feet are out wide. I really like that one. I feel the most activated muscles with that. 
And we're starting in three, two, one. Arms out to the side. My head does not lift. My shoulders do not lift. It's my hips pushing up to the ceiling in whichever variation you've decided to do. Whew. Get that nice little pause at the top. All right. Then I'm going over into my bent Y's. All right. Coming up and down, up and down. Again, guys, here's another great tank top summer exercise. All right, going back into our glute bridge. Back into my glute bridge. Whew. Arms out to the side. Squeezy squeezies. I love these variations in the glute bridge exercise to really work all the aspects of those bottoms. All right, going back into my Y's. All right, hinging over. And we're going. Ah, wow. I'm feeling it, guys. I'm feeling it in my legs, feeling it in my shoulders. I feel like these are shockingly hard. <laughs> All right, going back into my glute bridge. Oh, we got this. Coming up, get that pause at the top. Make sure you're really bringing those hips up as high as you can. Really squeezing those glutes. Great job. What a way to start a Saturday. This is awesome. All right. Going into my bent wise. All right, here we go. And down, up, and down. Got this. Yeah. Woo. All right, this is your last set of each. Best set. My butt is on fire, in, in a good, in a good way. <laughs> yeah. Squeezy squeezies. Woo. Really feel this in my glutes and my quads. All right. Coming back over into my bent Y. All right. And we're going. Yeah. Woo. Nice. All right, guys. We have one more circuit left. And that is going to be our inchworms and our calf raises. But first, I want you to grab some water while we get our much needed rest for our last round, we're going to do inchworms and calf raises. So again, the inchworm, my legs are, are spread out far enough so I can keep them straight. I'm going to come down. I'm going to walk it out. If you want to, you can do a scapular retraction where you bring your shoulder blades together. Or if you want to push yourself even more, you can do a perfect push up, come back up, come back in, walk it back out. All right. And then we have our calf raises. So for this one, I'm gonna grab my weights. You don't have to, but if you wanna make it a little bit harder, you can. And I want to come all the way up and down. So my feet aren't wide with this. 
they're just about hip width apart. Want, I want a little bit of width for stability is concerned, but I want to make sure that this is slow and controlled. So I'm really feeling that total extension as I do this, all right? So there is that. All right, guys, we're almost done. We're gonna be getting into it in about five seconds. All right, and we're starting with our inchworms in three, two, one, and we're going. So, coming down. I'm gonna do a push up, coming back in, walking it out. You do not have to do a push up, but I only want you to do it if you can do a strict push up well, which means. Ooh. All right, transitioning to our calf raises. I'll tell you what that means in a second. All right, here we go. Full extension. Find a spot on the wall to help you with your balance. If you guys have a broom at home or a mop and you're having trouble with balance, pause this, grab the broom, grab the mop. Don't put your weight into it, just use it for stability. All right? So what I'm talking about with the perfect push-up is I want your butt slightly raised because I don't want you to lose those abs. All right? Coming down. If I lost my abs, it would look like that. I want my butt slightly raised as I come down, walk it back in, walk it forward, keeping my elbows in tight to my body, not bringing my shoulders out to the side. All right, going back into my calf raises. I think my two favorite of all these exercises, going into it, here we go, are calf raises and the Bulgarian split squats. I really feel the most muscle activation, I guess, when I'm doing those two exercises. Um, they also are the most exerting for me. All right, going back into my inchworm. Yay, here we go. Walking it out. At the top, I want to make sure that I get those shoulders over those wrists. I'm not here, guys. My butt is, is, my butt is here, all right? It's in line with my hips. Coming back in. Make sure you come out into that full plank position each time that you're doing it, all right? Going into my calf raises. Turning those calves into cows. Woo! Here we go. Yeah, ha, 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 feel all the feels, woo. We've got about five seconds left. All right, here we go, guys. This is our last set of each, best set. Okay, walking it out. Go back into my push-up. The other thing with the push-up, guys, it's not a strict push-up if you don't get your chest to touch the ground. That's a very important component of it. You wanna get that full range of motion with it. Again, you do not need to do the push-up with this, but if you are, make sure it's good. All right, calf raises. Okay, and here we go. Woo! Yes. Got about three seconds left. Awesome. Yay. So, guys, I'm taking you a little bit long, but it is a Saturday, so I feel like that's okay. And I'm also gonna show you your homework that we may or may not do with you on each workout, but I wanna make sure that you have it. Guys, maybe some days you're just not feeling the workout and you're just gonna do your homework. That's totally fine too. Um, so go ahead and rest. 
while I demo this. And then you can either pause and rewind this, or you can just go into it with me right now if you want. So for our homework for this month, what we're going to do is 20 overhead squats. So just like we did on that first circuit, widening out those feet, toes out to the side, coming down and up. Keep those arms straight, guys. All right, if you don't have a resistance band, maybe you have a belt um, or a piece of cloth or something that you can use just to keep tension in your arms the entire time, all right? So we're doing 20 of these. I'm just gonna go ahead and do 20. Again, you could be resting right now. You can rewind this and come back to it. Or you can do it later on in the day. If you just need to move, that's totally fine. I think this is maybe 13, 14, 15, 16. Get in depth. Make sure, guys, don't go too shallow with this. Get that depth. All right. I'm sure that is all of them. <laughs> and then we're going to go into 10 knee grabs. Again, just like we did in the circuit. My legs are out straight. My arms are in tight to my chest. Coming up and down. Two. Just touching those shoulder blades. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10. Awesome. And our last piece of our homework is going to be 20 swimmers. 20. So so good for upper body strength, guys. Laying on my belly, pushing those feet into the ground, reaching forward and up. Two, three, four. Lifting that upper torso. Five. Feeling my glutes activate. As I reach back, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Ha! And 20. Yes. You. Win! Yay! Guys, wrapping up. Story of the day was about a challenge to write a thank you note to yourself. And again, you don't have to share it on the Facebook page, or if you're not on our Facebook page, that's fine. Um, what you could do is you can write the note, maybe put it on your refrigerator, maybe put it on your bathroom mirror, just to remind yourself that you're awesome and you're trying the best that you can right now in these really, really crazy times. So this is Coach Bootsy, Saturday morning, helping you bring out the warrior within. Meow, meow, meow. Oh man, side planks, you're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> See, you can't tell me something you don't like. Sarah, come on.